Hey y'all. So, um, this is going to be a fairly quick, um, band book video. I just happened to, um, be doing the read-along with the bookish drummer, um, for Harry Potter, which is to reread one of the books, um, per month. And this month was obviously the Sorcerer's Stone, Philosopher's Stone. So, um, while I was reading them, I was thinking about how these are some of the most banned books and challenged books in the U.S. And so, I figured I would, even though it's not technically wasn't part of my 24 for 24, because I did want to read books that I hadn't read before, um, I did want to kind of address it and talk about it because it is so um, frequently challenged as well. So um, the rationale, I suppose, is because it deals with wi wizards and witches and magic and, um, you know, I guess for religious reasons, people see that as... Um, offensive and they don't want their kids to learn about that and um you know so one of the things that I think is odd um about um banning Harry Potter is that the entire story is about you know building friendships and building relationships with people and counting on one another and how even the person who seems the weakest um, has a skill and has something to offer. Because at the end of the series, I mean, it's really building all of these characters up and showing how they each offer something. So Ron might seem kind of like a putz, but he's, you know, he has something to offer. And Hermione is sort of like the nerdy girl, but she has something. And Harry obviously is the chosen one. But, you know, Neville, he seems like kind of dorky and, you know, clumsy. But he, you know, he offers a lot... Luna seems a little weird, um, and how this group of kids, you know, essentially defeats, I mean, yes, they have, um, adults who help them, and, but, you know, essentially defeats this evil, um, because, and the difference between the good and the evil is that the good has love, and friendships, and, you know, cares for other people, and, I mean, very, very, like, you know, it's the, it's the hero's journey archetype. It's the same story as Star Wars. It's the same story as Lord of the Rings. I mean, you know, it's, it's not a new story. Um, which is sort of why it's also kind of weird that, like, it's, it's banned or challenged. Because even though it's a kid's book, I mean, really, it's, it's teaching some really good moral lessons. So I find it strange that this is something that people protest. And, you know, on kind of a side note, I mean... J.K. Rowling has become sort of, um, unfortunately, not necessarily the best <laughs> role model, um, especially for her own readers, and that's, that's what's sort is really disheartening, um, because I think that's, you know, obviously everyone has their own perceptions, their own perspectives, and I'm not saying that, like, people shouldn't have their own opinions, um, and while I don't, obviously I don't agree with her opinions, I, like, I try to see her perspective, you know, and I'm like, okay, well, older people are just a little, like, kind of out of touch with what they're saying, but, you know, it is very concerning when you're somebody who has the sort of platform that she has, and the fact that a lot of her platform does, you know, involve kids, and, you know, it, in particular, like, if you're a trans kid or LGBTQ kids, and you see like, the kind of vehemence with which she, like, defends her positions, it can be kind of discouraging, because, you know, this is somebody that a lot of kids kind of looked up to, but, you know, and I'm, I'm big on, you know, I tend to say, like, you know, you gotta, you have to separate the art from the artist, because, you know, realistically, like, we shouldn't hold anybody to, you know, onto that pedestal, because, eventually you're going to find out that, like, everyone's kind of flawed. Um, that being said, you know, you don't necessarily need to support them. And, you know, I own all the Harry Potter books and the Harry Potter movies. Um, so, you know, I'm not, but I won't be continuing to support her. Um, but, you know, I do love this series. And I think, you know, separating that, um, if you already own it, and if you don't own it, you know, and you want to read it, there's plenty of copies through libraries, you can borrow one from someone, I'm sure, you know, you don't have to necessarily support her, um, even if you want to take part in the story, it's, you know, it's pretty, you know, universally accessible, although, 
things like banned books, you know, although I don't think that's going to be an argument for the people banning books, um, you know, that does limit people's access to things. So um, I know that's a separate topic, but I don't want to, you know, ignore it either. Um, but yeah, so this is, I mean, it is a banned book, you know, again, I really have always struggled with this one in particular, just because I feel like it's like, it's not doing, teaching anything that you wouldn't want kids to learn, you know, like, yeah, be good to each other and support each other. And, you know, we're all, we can all come together and be good together. And, um, we all offer something. And I just think that's such a good lesson. Um, but anyway, that was, um, so this is a brief one because, um, it's not officially in my 24 for 24. All right. Bye.